Hi guys, I'm Evie. And I'm Vaporeon. We're just deciding what we want to do today. Hey, wait. Vaporeon, look. Our owner left the computer on. You're right. Looks like a game of some sort. Yeah. I say we play it. Are you sure our owner's not going to get mad at us? I'm sure. I've played computer games a lot, and I thought I'd get you into it, too. Oh, I know this game. It's called Surgery Squad. Uh, Surgery Squad? Never heard of such a thing. SurgerySquad.com is basically a game with different surgeries. Uh, oh, looks like uh, she left the game on about braces. Uh, the things you get in your teeth. Oh, yeah, I heard our owner talk about her having to get braces in the, I believe, the 8th grade. And then got them taken out junior year of high school. Exactly. All right, let's see. All right, why don't we hit the start button? If I can find my mouse, there we go. Ooh, I can't wait. This is gonna be, this is gonna be interesting. It sure is. Welcome to Surgery Squad. I'm Dr. Jeff. Hi, Dr. Today Jeff. we're going to talk about braces. Those fantastic bands and wires that help straighten out crooked teeth. Oh, my Most God. Most have perfect teeth. Everyone's smile is unique. Some people's teeth are just a little more out of shape than others. Your teeth might be crooked, or your upper and lower jaws might not be the same size. If your upper jaw is bigger than your lower jaw, that is called an overbite. If your lower jaw is bigger than your upper jaw, you have an underbite. Sometimes your mouth is not large enough for all your teeth. That is referred to as overcrowding. In all of these cases, the problem can be fixed with braces. Braces are a series of brackets, wires, and bands that are used to guide your teeth back into the correct position. This improves looks, makes it easier to chew, and at times even improves speech. Our patient today has what looks to be an overbite. We want to see how noticeable it is. We'll start by getting a record of the current state of her teeth in many ways, including x-rays, impressions, and photographs. We'll start by taking some x-rays. Oh, okay. I guess this is where the game starts. Let's see. All right. Eh, whoops. I clicked the wrong button. Let's try that again. There we go. Evie, you give it a you give it a shot. I'll be back here. All right. So I guess we aim right here and and then click it. All right, there we go. This is interesting. Next, we'll take an impression of the teeth. We put a special gel on the bite mold. The gel comes in lots of terrific flavors, like candy cane and chocolate cake. Can you put the mold in the mouth? What? Our owner told us that she didn't get a flavor of that paste. And I want to go to this dentist now. All right. Evie, how about we take turns playing? All right. I'll go next. Okay. We just line it up here. And then, and then we click it. There we go. Great job. We'll have my assistant make the bottom impression. Once we have them both, we'll use the impressions to make a plaster model of the patient's teeth. Okay, we've got our impressions and x-rays, and we can see that our patient needs braces. I've also taken some photos for our before and after wall. We'll arrange an appointment for next week to put the braces in place. Ah, the magic of technology. Evie, you're up. Our patient is back, and we're ready to put on her braces. In some cases, a patient may need spacers placed between the teeth for a week to create more room for the bands. Our patient does not. We'll start by polishing all the teeth. Making sure there is no debris on the teeth will ensure that the braces adhere better. Run the polisher over the teeth to clean them. Oh dear. Okay. Okay. Since I can't... I'm not really good at using this mouse thing, so I'll give it a shot. This thing sounds weird. 
right. Now let's try the bottom. Okay. There. All right, now we press continue. Ah. Wow, what a marvelous job. I can almost see myself in those teeth. Oh, jeez. We need to put on some molar hey, bands to anchor the braces. They circle the whole tooth and have a hook on the outside of the tooth. Slip the molar band over the tooth. We'll cement it into place later. Oh, this is what our owner had in her teeth. Okay. Let's click there. There we go. And then the other. Now the other side. There. Great. Now we can start putting the bonded brackets on the rest of the teeth. We've placed a lip guard over the teeth to give us room to work. Let's rinse off the teeth. Can you spray them with water? I run the suction to remove the water. All right, Amy, you're up. Okay. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> Let's spray some air to get the teeth nice and dry. Okay. Can you handle that for me? Yes, I can try. Let's move it down there. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now let's move the mouse back up here. With the teeth dry, we'll now put a small amount of bonding agent on the teeth. Wipe a little bonder on each one. Oh, it's that sticky stuff that, uh... <clears throat> Oh, what are they called? Brackets, I think? Th that the brackets uh, stick to. That's you, Vaporeon. All right. Okay. All right. Now all we do is click. The teeth. I know I could be doing multiples, but this is very hard. There we go. Evie, do you want to do the top? Nah, you can finish it off. All right. Whoops. I wonder if our owner had to go through this same process. We'll ask her after the video. There we go. We let the bonder dry for a minute or two so that it is sticky. Then we place a bonded bracket onto it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Evie, you're up. All righty. This shouldn't be too hard. Now we, all we do is just aim it. Okay. Top now. Okay, there we go. I will scrape off the excess bonding agent with a dental pick. Now use a curing light to harden the bonding agent under the brackets. Click to turn on the curing light. Mm hmm. Not again.
Great job. Now I'll put the bonded brackets on the rest of the teeth. There we are. While I was at it, I readjusted the molar bands and cemented them. We're ready to place the arch wires. The arch wire is a thin wire that connects all of the teeth by going through each bracket. Let's slip the wire into the brackets of the bands on the molars. Move the wire to the mouth to put it in place. I am horrible at making that thing come up. All right. All right. And there. Good job. We do not want the wires to poke our patient. So now that they are all snapped into place, I'll reduce the ends by clipping them off with pliers. And there we are. The arch wire is in place. Now we'll use the elastic ligatures to make sure the arch wire does not fall out of the band. The ligatures are little rubber bands we snap over the front of the bonded bracket using a different pair of dental pliers. Now you try. Place the ligature over the brackets indicated. All right, Vaporeon, you finish it up. Okie dokie. Ooh, these are, this is a nice color. I think that's pink. It's making a weird sound. Alright, now the top. There we go! And with the last ligature in place, our patient is done for today. In the next few days, she might experience some initial discomfort. She should plan on eating soft foods and taking over the counter pain relievers if needed. Orthodontic wax can also relieve discomfort. If there is a real problem, she can always call the orthodontist. It is important to take more time brushing and flossing when you have braces, as food can get lodged between the wires and the teeth. Our patient will have regular appointments about once a month for the next six months, and then space them out after that. The treatment usually takes about one year with braces, and then additional time with a retainer. The true length will vary by patient. She might also need additional equipment such as elastic bands, coil springs, or headgear. We will not know until we see how she responds to the braces. There you have it. The braces are in place, and our patient is on the way to a beautiful straight smile. Thanks for coming by Surgery Squad. Why not check out one of our other procedures here on SurgerySquad.com? Well, guys, there you have it. That was an awesome game. I can't wait to play another one. All right, guys. Well, that does it for this episode. Um, I'm sorry about that, you know, settings thing popping up from time to time, but at least it only happened three times and not a hundred. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!